Well, the good news is the septic issue wasn't as big of an issue as we thought it was going to yes. be. Yes. That so that's good. good. Didn't push closing. It was a quick fix. It's all fixed. We didn't have to pay for it. We didn't have to pay for <laughs> it. So it was best case scenario worked out there. Yeah. So I'm glad that that happened. And yeah. so fast forward to right now, we close tomorrow. Yes. So tonight's the last night in the RV. Uh-huh. Last time we will sleep in the RV. And we had to, I'll show you when we get over to the house, we had to get some like temporary chairs to sit in. Because our furniture is not coming until after we get back from... Because that was scheduled for the original closing day. Yeah. And we could not move it up because there was a piece that wasn't coming in yeah. but a couple days before that anyway. So yeah. we have, we'll have everything at our access but a sofa. <laughs> we have a lot of the furniture on the way. The washer dryer will be there this yeah. week before we leave to go to the RV Unplugged Rally. But the only thing that's not coming is our sit down, sit on furniture. Yeah. So we had to buy these temporary chairs, which will be like chairs for the kids. Yeah, grandbabies can use those. And yeah. I said that plural. Grandbabies. Yeah, we haven't said anything yet. This is the first time we've said anything, yeah. but our daughter is pregnant. Again. With our second grandbaby. It's going to be a boy. Yeah, so. <laughs> good choice to come off the road. Yes. Now we're going to have two grandbabies. Yes. To, to, Under the age of two. Yeah, so it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be busy. Interesting, fun, exciting, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna right now we're gonna go into the house even though we haven't closed yet he's gone. he's gone he told me where a key was so we can move some stuff in yeah we're gonna dump some stuff off too. and just after closing tomorrow it's just gonna be a whirlwind of crazy crazy stuff yeah. but we'll take you over here right now and give you the first look at the inside of the house yeah. without anything in it yeah, yeah we have a, we have and, um, I'm anticipating it's a disaster. Probably. He was living there by himself. Yeah. It was a disaster when we were there Friday, so because yeah. he was moving all his boxes out, so I'm, I'm assuming it's the rest of it stays a disaster. So I'm ready to clean. I know you're ready. To I'm clean. ready to clean. Leslie's always ready to clean. That's why we're gonna go today, so we can get some cleaning out of the way. Yeah. Because Tuesday, we have a painter coming by to quote us on to how to paint estimate. the inside yeah. so if that goes well maybe we can get it painted because we figure like if we have to do that it's good to do it while we don't have any furniture in there nothing yes. set up it'd be way easier to get it all you painted have to be stuff moving because, everything out of the way. and i'll show you when we get over there but it's like the builder's grade paint yeah it's builder's paint where you wipe it and it comes off yeah you know it's and with having grandbabies over there, we know that there's going to be stains and fingerprints on the wall and all kinds of stuff. Just living with you, there's going to be things to clean off of it. Your words hurt. <laughs> it's the truth, though. You'll touch things and I'll be like, what's this? What is this on my wall? And it's like both ours wall. No, it's my wall. I clean. It's my wall. I own it. <laughs> all right, let's head over to the house. Okay. Well, here it is, man. It's always crazy when you move into a new house, it echoes. So There's loud. nothing to absorb the sound at all. No. So this is the kitchen area. This is the, the front entryway and a lot of our stuff has already arrived and the previous owner was cool enough to, to bring it in for us. And uh, dining room over there, living room over here. The uh, spare bedrooms are back there and the spare bath. And then the master bedroom is back there. And then back through this way is the garage. And then that passes through the mm -hmm. laundry room into the master closet, which wraps around to the master bedroom. Oh yeah, and I got my, I got my wrist base, brace on because my wrist has been hurting for, I don't know what reason, a for a couple weeks. So I got a little a wrist brace on. So um, that's it. So it'll be easier to paint all this empty. empty. So that's why we're kind of, doing that yeah so let's go out and bring in our tv <laughs> which we're going to be using It'll the be tv a... that we were using for the outdoor tv yeah we here to be... Can we get the with TV? our two little sad seats which we'll be like using and we have our mattress by brooklyn benning is already here yeah our new mattress Hey, 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 so you don't have to live in an RV 
to have a Brooklyn bedding mattress. No. Well, we're in the new house, and thank you to the sponsor of this video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We've been traveling for three years in the RV, sleeping on our RV mm -hmm. mattress. And it's just because of the sleep quality and the comfort. I mean, you just can't beat it. Top notch. And we would have brought it with us, but it's huge. And it's hard to get out of the RV. Well, it's an RV king. So. Yeah, and it's the wrong size. We have a residential king now. They have the best mattresses on the market, I think. We've slept on several different yes. brands throughout our years together. And this by far has been by one of the best. Far the best. I can't wait to get this open and sleep on it. And if you're kind of leery about it or you're worrying about you know the the quality or whether you like it or not don't worry about that they have a 120 night sleep trial yep they will ship it to you free from their factory in arizona and there's a 10-year warranty so if anything goes wrong to stay in 10 years they'll replace it for you exactly. no questions asked well we've got some new exciting news from rv mattress from brooklyn bedding we've always been able to save you 25 percent by using our promo code when you check out but now we can save you 30%. Yeah, and that 30% will save you site-wide. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description of this video. Yep. Use promo code WAGS when you check out. This is the master. So we'll be sleeping on a mattress on the floor until we can get all of the furniture put together. And then this is the master bath. And the master closet and then this way is where I was talking about oh that's the toilet that's the toilet right there and then this way through here is where I was talking about that leads through the the uh, laundry room and then back to the front door it's a big circle right here yes which is cool mm -hmm. and let me take you over to the other side of the house over here which is the guest guest side which is going to be like guests and kids and everything we've already got the utilities already hooked up this is also going to be our new studio youtube studio yeah what well, are we doing videos from right here but this is the background so that'll be yeah. cool and then we have more stuff that was delivered. already stuff that was delivered <laughs> <laughs> he, he was such a, a sport about he it. was very accommodating yeah. it was it was it was nice of him to do that and then over here is the guest bathroom little bathroom and then we have uh, another bedroom over here and another bedroom over here. So I think this one's going to be Harper's. Well, the kids' is, the kids is room. Not, it was going to be just Harper's room. It was. Now it's going to be the kids' room. Yeah. I'm, I, I had to come up with a new plan. Yeah. So it's going to be like a half girl, half boy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. kind of setup. Yeah, and then this over here next next to it will be the actual, just the guest guest room for people who show up and want to just hang out. So, if you're in the area and you pop by, you could be staying right here in this room. That's right. <laughs> could be it. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited, man. Yes. I'm excited. This is Lots awesome. Lots to do. All right, let's go get our little couple things that we got to put in here. Okay. And then we'll show you our, our living, our temporary living room setup <laughs> once we get that done. <laughs> Get up out of hey, there's the setup, man. There's the little chairs and the little TV. And this is where we'll be kicking it for most nights until we get our furniture in. That's our little outdoor TV that we used in the RV. And because uh, we're not bringing any of the TVs from the RV here, we're ordering TVs that are going to be delivered, and the TV will eventually go up there. And then we'll eventually have a couch here and a couch here. And I think Scouts. Scout. Habitat's gonna go right here, so he has this window to look out. He can keep an eye on the snakes for us. Shut up. Yeah, but this is uh, this is fancy right here. Nice little setup. Oh uh -huh, yeah, look at that. Huh? It's temporary. Comfy. Temporary. Cozy. And then they'll just be in the kids' room. Yeah. <laughs> we thought this wall was was uh, a wallpaper. wallpaper. But it's not. Those dashes are actually like done with a little roller. Yeah. And so we're gonna paint over that. We don't have we don't have an accent wall there. No. Paint that right. So this is the before. This is the before video, and we'll take you through the whole process of putting everything together, getting it all set up in every room. Hopefully, Leslie ordered everything else correctly. 
So I have to send more stuff back and I can just keep rolling. <laughs> hey, shit happens, man. No big deal. If it's the one and only thing I screw up, I'm winning. Yeah, I mean, because we're ordering dozens of items. I made them. My first order was like 13, I think. Yeah. My second order, I think, was 15, and yesterday's order was 45. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The Amazon guy is going to hate us. Yeah. Might have our own truck coming We tomorrow. might. We might. <laughs> oh, We're lovely. definitely going to get this place cleaned up. Yeah. And then we'll get the estimate on the painting. I really hope it's reasonable because I don't want to do this. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so I would you, really rather somebody else do this. So you have to take that into consideration. When you hear the number, don't go, what? I the definitely will. Yeah. I have a number in my mind that if it's over that, I'm going to be like, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just know it'll be a lot slower processing. Do you have a number in your mind? No, because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay it. Whatever. Cool. Paint it. Because I want it done soon. And when you have multiple people come in and do it, it's so much faster. Yeah, and that is the other issue is we can't get everything set up. We can't start hanging TVs. We can't start putting furniture against walls. We can't do anything until it's painted. And if we got to paint it, it's going to take days. Well, I mean, we can do those things until we get to those rooms, but then we just have to take them back off. But I don't want to remove, I don't want to move stuff back out and then back in and back. So yeah, it's, uh, and if we don't like the price on this guy, we can check we can around, we can check around, but it's going to probably be ballpark. It's probably going to be around what anybody's going to charge. So. Yeah. Just, yeah. Cause the square Ugh. footage is the square footage of what they, each person wants to charge for square footage is the yep. thing. All right, we'll take you back to the RV. We'll talk about our last night there. We'll tell you what we're having for our last supper, last supper. in the RV. And then tomorrow the madness starts and we'll bring you along with us. Yep. It is the last supper. In the RV. In the RV. <laughs> Not on death row. Steaks, taters, salad. salad, all good stuff. Yes. It's a fitting last dinner Steak in the dinner. RV. The next time we cook, we'll be in the house. Yeah, and it's crazy we were just talking about because of the power usage in an RV. Because <laughs> we have we have the microwave, the grill, and all three air conditioners going because it's hot. It's hot here. But in order to run the microwave and the grill, we had to turn off one of the air conditioners. And I'm like, that's the last time we'll ever have, have to, to, do that. to do that. We don't have to do the dance on what leg is running what. And sometimes we would forget and we'd get, you know, sidetracked and we'd get About stuff going. Two, three minutes into it, and then you, something shuts off. And then, boom, and you're like, I don't even know how long it's been cooking. <laughs> Done that many times, actually. I don't know how much longer to cook it. Because it just reset everything. Yeah, yeah, but the last time I looked at it, what was on the timer? So then I got to go outside, reset the breaker, get everything yeah. turned back on, yeah. recook, you know, get it. Yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, we got better about it. Yeah. But, but I'm looking forward to not having to worry about that yeah. ever again. Yeah, that will be nice. All right, let's get our steak. Okay. Well, we decided to take over some stuff tonight to alleviate a little bit of the pain that's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> That's a bag full of hair. Bag full of hair. Holy crap! Shut your it's not all hair. It's I'm a lot of hair. From about here. Uh, it's a lot of hair. Keep my hair off. It looks. That's pretty disturbing. <sighs> looks like you've like smuggling severed heads across the border <laughs> or something. Keep <laughs> my hair off. So we're cleaning out the closet, cleaning out of our drawers, our little side nooks there. Yeah. Only thing I got under the bed I can't say on YouTube. Yeah. It's the G word. My dad brought them back. That means he's been holding on to them for me for a while. My hunting and uh, personal protection apparatuses. Apparatuses. <laughs> so we'll take those two. Um, just a couple little things we're going to take tonight just to kind of take away the sting for tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever we can. I'd rather have a late night tonight. And get an early start tomorrow a little bit too before closing and then that way when we get home in the evening because it will be about 
four thirty. Yeah. When we get home from closing, then we can just we don't have to do a whole whole lot. Yeah. All right, let's get after it. Okay. There's a little tip for you when you're moving out of your RV. Make sure you go onto all of your TVs and you log into your accounts like your Netflix, YouTube, YouTube TV, Apple TV, Peacock, whatever you got. And make sure you sign out of your accounts um, because if you just leave the TV the way it is, these are like usually automatic logins. So if you just leave, take your internet with you, next person comes in, they hook up their internet, they connect to the TV, and they click on that app. You're already signed in so they can just watch all your stuff for free so make sure you log out of all of your apps.